Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing three easy vegan instant pot recipes with you all that all have a Tex-Mex theme to them. And not only are they super easy to make, but they're also very budget friendly and delicious. So if you haven't heard of the term before, an instant pot is an electronic pressure cooker that allows you to cook pretty much anything, um, but mostly people use it for beans and grains in a much shorter amount of time because the cooking itself is pressurized in this tiny little pot. I personally love to use it like most people to cook my rice and beans, but there are also a lot of other really creative recipes out there using the instant pot and it kind of has a cult following. However, if you just have another type of pressure cooker, whether it be electronic or on the stove, you can totally use that for these recipes as well. As always, I will have the full recipes linked in the description of this video, but for now, let's get on to making them. First, I'm going to show you guys how to make some freaking amazing refried beans using the Instant Pot. I am obsessed with this recipe and it's super simple as well. So you're just going to add some dried pinto beans into your Instant Pot and then cover it with water. And in general, when you cook beans in your Instant Pot, you want to cover them with enough water so there is between two and three inches of extra room above the beans and this is because the beans are going to absorb some of the water and just otherwise things go weird. So then you're going to seal your instant pot. Make sure you set it to sealing. Then we're going to use the manual pressure and cook it on high for 40 minutes. While the beans are cooking, in the meantime, we are going to roast some jalapenos. If you guys didn't know yet, I've said it a few times, but all of the heat in the jalapeno is actually in the seeds. So we're not going to use any of those um, for the recipe, just in case you are sensitive to spices. So I just cut the exterior edges of the pepper away from it and then discard the center with the seeds. And then we're just going to put these strips of jalapeno jalapenos onto a baking tray and broil them in the oven until they are slightly black and this is going to give us this smoky and charred flavor that we're looking for but just to soften up these jalapenos a little bit more we're going to place them into a resealable ziploc bag and then seal it and let them sit there for around 10 minutes or so just to let them steam then afterwards we're going to put them back on our cutting board and we're just going to dice them really finely like i said we're keeping the black parts actually on they don't taste burnt it tastes more smoky and this helps contribute to the overall flavor of the beans so after we have finished that we just wait till our pinto beans finish cooking in the instant pot and as you can see they are perfectly cooked you don't have to soak them beforehand 40 minutes does the trick and then we're just going to remove these from the pot and i like to discard enough liquid until the water is level with the beans as you can see here obviously this goes by personal preference so you can experiment a little but now we're going to take about half of the beans out of the pot with a little bit of the water and we're going to put those into a blender or food processor and we're also going to add in some salsa here and we're going to blend this all together. And this also helps to blend the beans into more of a puree and it also just evenly incorporates the flavor of the salsa throughout the beans afterwards. So now we're going to return these to our instant pot container and then we're going to add in our spices. I'm adding some chili powder, some chipotle pepper, and some cumin. The full measurements are listed in the blog post. And we also can't forget about those beautiful little jalapenos that we diced up before along with some salt and then we're just going to mix everything together and I do want to say that these beans may look runny right now but it is because they are still pretty freaking hot from the instant pot but they will thicken a lot as they cool and with time in the fridge so that's it you can eat these beans with rice you can use it as a dip for chips you can put them in burritos on tacos the possibilities are endless up next, I'm going to show you guys how to make some cilantro lime rice. And fun fact, I actually used to work at a chain Tex-Mex restaurant and their cilantro lime rice was my absolute favorite. So to make this rice, we're actually only going to be using the stems of the cilantro. So I'm just roughly cutting off the leaves and saving them for another recipe or for the garnish later on. But we're just going to dice up the stems nice and finely because they still hold flavor. And then once we cook them in the instant pot, they become pretty soft as well. So we're going to add some rice to the Instant Pot. I'm using short grain brown rice. And to give this extra flavor, instead of using water, we're actually going to be using vegetable broth. Then we're going to add in those cilantro stems and just stir everything together so it's well incorporated. And then we're just going to seal the pot up and once again, switch it from venting to sealing. And this time we're going to do manual high pressure for 22 minutes. 
Then you'll let the pot naturally release steam for 10 minutes and the rice will look a little bit something like this. Last but not least, we're going to add in our lime juice and I decided to add in some extra chopped cilantro leaves from before just to give this a little bit more color because as you can see right now, the parts of the cilantro that were actually in the pot got a little brown looking. So we're just going to stir that up and you're ready to go. You can obviously add more lime or salt to taste if you'd like, but this is a great healthy version of cilantro lime rice that you might normally see at a Tex-Mex restaurant. Last but not least, we're going to make some black bean soup topped with an avocado salsa. So the soup itself is also, again, very simple. We're going to start out by adding a splash of vegetable broth or water or oil to a pan along with some garlic, some red onion, and some red bell pepper. And then we'll use the saute function of the instant pot just to saute these until they're translucent. Then we're going to add in some chili powder along with some cumin and some cayenne pepper as well as some diced cilantro. And then again, we're just going to stir that, toast the spices for a bit, and then we're going to add in some dried black beans. Again, I'm lazy, I don't like to soak my beans, so I'm just using them dry. And then we're going to add vegetable broth and a little bit of water to the beans as well until there is plenty of room for the black beans to cook. Then we're just going to seal the pot, and this time we're going to cook it for 27 minutes on high pressure. In the meantime, we're going to make a lovely avocado salsa to put on top of our soup, just to switch things up a bit. So we're going to add some red onion and some jalapeno into a bowl. And again, I'm just showing you guys, again, this is how I like to cut my jalapenos. I cut the little strips and then I use the strips and I finely dice them. I think this way works the best. So let me know if you try it out and it works for you. So after you add the jalapenos, we're also going to add in some tomatoes, cilantro, a little bit of cumin, salt, and some lime juice. Then we're just going to stir all of this together to help marinate the flavors and to make sure everything is well combined. And then we're going to add in our avocado and hopefully you get a beautiful avocado like this one. I just like to dice my avocado with a knife and then I use a spoon to scoop it out and the chunks stay pretty intact. So for this recipe, we're going to use one whole avocado. And then after you finish adding that to the bowl, because the avocado is more tender, I just wanted to add it in last. So then we're just going to gently fold the rest of these salsa ingredients in with the avocado. And this is kind of like guacamole, but personally, I actually like a little bit more because I think it has a nice, fun texture, but you can still use it in the same ways as guac. You can put it on bagels, you can put it on toast, you can use it like a normal salsa with tacos or burritos. But in this instance, we are using it with our soup. I just thought it would be fun to give a little bit more texture to the soup. Um, but speaking of the soup, it should be pretty much cooked by now. So as you can see, the beans are nice and cooked, all the flavors are combined, and we're going to add in some lime juice and lime zest for a bit of extra flavor. And then you can keep your soup like this if you'd like it to be more loose, but I like my soup to be a little bit more chunky, so I actually blended up half of the beans and I put it back into the soup pan, and this just gave a little bit more thickness and creaminess to the soup. But when you're ready to serve it, you can just put it in a bowl, top it with a spoonful or two of the avocado salsa and you are good to go another easy recipe full of flavor that is also good for you so i mean what's really not to love about that all right guys and that is how you make three easy vegan instant pot recipes let me know if you guys want to see more instant pot recipes um i don't film them too often but i do like making them and it's always fun to challenge myself in the kitchen i feel like the instant pot it's a little bit more scary uh, for me than cooking on the regular stovetop, just because once you seal it, you can't really do anything to it. Um, but I still do enjoy them, and I think you guys like them too. I think they're good for meal prep and stuff like that. And also let me know which recipe was your favorite in the comments below. Personally, the refried beans are definitely my favorite. Um, I could probably swim in a vat of them and be perfectly content and eat them every day for the rest of my life and never get sick of them But maybe you're more of a soup person or you're more of a rice person So let me know and if you are new to my channel And this is the first video of mine that you're seeing and you want to see more feel free to hit that little subscribe button right down there I post two new videos every single week revolving around healthy easy and yummy vegan recipes and other things along those lines So if you're interested, you know what to do and thank you guys so much for watching I hope to see you in the next video and I hope you have have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.